Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Steve, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Maximus 3 Stinger Bar for your 2018 and up JL Wrangler JT Gladiator that came with the factory metal bumper. Uh, in this video, we're going to be more or less talking about tips and tricks to kind of help this install go a little bit smoother. A couple issues that I ran into along the way, but the fit and finish on this thing is amazing. I called up Maximus 3, ordered their winch plate as well as a warm VR Evo winch. That's going to be part two of this video where I'll be doing that install and kind of giving you some tips and tricks on that. Uh, stay tuned. I'll show you what we have going on here. Well, okay. So here we are. Here is the Maximus 3 Stinger Bar that's on the factory metal bumper. And as you can tell, the fit and finish on this thing is hands down perfect. Uh, it matches, it's, the powder coating's really, really nice on this, uh, which is why I decided to go with the Maximus 3 winch plate uh, that will go along with this. So when you have your factory bumper, you're gonna have five T45. Again, it's a T45 Torx bit. You'll have to take off the, uh, the winch plate cover. You have one, two, three, four, and five. Um, I have Baja Designs lights on the front, so I had to remove those first and then remove the, the winch uh, cover. Then you'll have to remove, you have three T45 bolts that'll have to come out. One, two, and three. And you have three on the other side. Once you pull those off, you're going to be left with nut clips. And these things are a bear to get out. Uh, and this is where the tips and tricks kind of comes in here. So as you can see, I got them off. Um, I had to bend them a little bit. But the problem with these nut clips is that sometimes the insides of these things will break like that one. And you really can't get it out very easily. So the bumper is metal. And in between the, the what makes up the bumper, you have a two pieces that you're able to slide in some of these trim tools in between the bumper. So what I did is, is in between here, there's two pieces of metal. I put the trim tool inside there to give me a little bit more room. And I used a, a screwdriver to try to get these nut clips out. Uh, in the instructions, it says you can use needle nose pliers. And I tried that. Um, out of all of the six nut clips that I had to remove, I had a problem with one of them and I didn't put a blanket over my grill and I got a scratch from there all the way up there. I used rubbing compound and got it out, but I highly recommend that you get some type of blanket or bedspread or something that you put over that grill so that you don't scratch that. Uh, these nut clips are, again, uh, very difficult to get out, but if you do what I say and kind of use the trim tool and and, and, and get in between those two pieces of metal, it'll help. Another thing I did is if that doesn't work, you can always take a thin screwdriver and you could try to push it through the hole uh, with a hammer it, to bend the bottom of the nut clip down and then it'll be easier for you to remove. And that's kind of what I ended up doing. Uh, again, here's your T45, I got a socket. It's easier than a Allen key style. You're gonna need a 16 millimeter socket for the reinforcement bracket. And I also have a ratcheting wrench, uh, which comes in handy. And you'll also have to remove this plastic trim and it's got this little plastic clip and I'll get it to focus. You're just gonna get a screwdriver underneath there, pop it up, pull it out, comes right off. And lastly, uh, the reinforcement bracket that's right there, it has to be angled to where the bolt will go through, which is right there. That's the only bolt on each side that you need to put in. So it's got studs for the other two bars and then one screw. And that screw is an Allen head and it's a little bit longer than the factory T45 
so that you can get a serrated bolt on the back side of that. And underneath the studs and underneath this bolt are rubber washers. So it goes in between your factory bumper and the bull bar and it'll cinch it down. I'm not really worried about it scratching because I'm not planning on taking it off. But this reinforcement bracket here will have to be angled to where it's got a notch and you're gonna push that reinforcement bracket all the way forward to where that bolt goes to the back. And that's a 16 millimeter socket to get that off. And again, if this is all you're going to be doing, it's gonna be a fairly easy install, but the nut clips, get yourself a bedspread, cover the grill. Um, take your time getting those nut clips out because they can be a little difficult, especially if that one nut clip there uh, split in the middle like it did for me. I think that's about it for this part one of the uh, install of the stinger bar and the winch plate. Uh, stay tuned and I'll have a next video out uh, before we go to Jeep Invasion. We'll see you then.